Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be creating a tropical flower using a glue gun to outline the flower, an acrylic swipe to create the background and finally painting the flowers with a paintbrush. To get started I'm using a glue gun to outline the flowers that I've already sketched onto the canvas in pencil. I find when I'm working with a glue gun, it's definitely easiest <laughs> if I can avoid making a mistake in the first place. But if something isn't quite right, I find it's best to quickly use a tool to try and even out whatever you know the problem is, to fix the fix the mistake shortly after I've made it when the glue is still hot. Just be careful not to burn your fingers on it. Um, once the glue cools and dries, which doesn't take very long, I find there isn't really much I can do. Um, I've previously tried to pull the glue off once it's dried, but for me that has always pulled off quite a large chunk of the canvas too. So yeah, just kind of keep all that in mind as you're using a glue gun. Now we are ready for the swipe to create the background. For that, my paints are mixed in the ratio of four parts paint to eight parts Floetrol to one part water plus one drop of silicon. The swipe turned out okay, but most, if not all, the paint was swiped away from the areas close to the flowers. So I'm just going to add a bit more paint back over there and then use my palette knife to do um, a few more swipes to help blend that into the rest of the paint. Now we're ready for the leafy section where I'm going to try and do a bit more swiping with greens this time.
So, <laughs> the struggle is very real over here. Um, it's not particularly easy to swipe the paint over the glue gun section over here. So keep that in mind if you give this a try. Um, I'd say it would probably be easier to do a Dutch pour where you use a hairdryer to blow the paint around over the glue gun sections. But, um, but this is still okay, um, definitely just not the easiest approach. To create the flowers, I'm starting with some titanium white and then adding some light magenta and finally some brilliant yellow and then just trying to blend those colors a bit. I'm trying to retain the pink and yellow on either edge and then get create a bit of the blending in the middle of that. As I was working my way through the petals, I started using more paint, so the later petals are a lot more vibrant um, and I'm going to go back to those initial petals and make them more vibrant too. I'll give you two tips for blending acrylic paints. One is to use a decent amount of paint, that way it takes longer for the paint to dry and gives you more time to complete your blending. And the other tip is to lightly spritz the canvas with water as you're working. That also helps keep the paint wet for longer and allows more time for blending. Now for some finishing touches. I've diluted some black paint with, with a little bit of water to get a fairly runny mixture which I'm using to outline the leaves and I'm also going to outline all of the petals um, with this black. Now I'm going over the glue gun section of the leaves with some phthalo green. To finish off the flowers, I'm outlining all the petals in white. And then adding a coat of light magenta to the pink side of each petal. And now finally adding some light magenta to the center of the flower. I really like how the blue part of the swipe turned out and I think the pink and yellow combo for the petals also looks really pretty too. Overall, I um, had a lot of fun creating this painting. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks as always for joining me and if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and I look forward to seeing you again next time.